What is the difference between a manual and an automatic pump? It's a question we get asked a lot. So manual pumps are simply off or on. You turn them off or on at the plug and when you turn them on, the pump turns on and when you turn them off, the pump turns off. Now we're sometimes asked actually whether a manual pump has to be hand operated and it doesn't. Um, it's still powered by electricity, it just means that there isn't a float switch. Um, so dead simple to use, you've got water, put the pump there, turn it on, and then when the water's gone you turn it off. Automatic pumps on the other hand have a float switch so they tend to not pump as low down because they're reliant on the float switch operating the level and many operate in a similar fashion to say the cistern in your toilet with a float telling the pump whether to turn off or on. So this one has a little micro switch inside the pendant. As the water level rises, it turns the pump on and as the water level drops, it turns the pump off. Now, the disadvantage of having a pendant float like this is it might get caught or not turn off at an exact level. So there are other styles and various styles of float switches available. So if I move this out the way, move this one out the way as well, and bring in this pump. This is an aimer drainer and you'll see this one has, if I turn it around so you can see on the camera, it has a float switch actually on an arm. You can also get them in a tube and it's just better for fixed uh, enclosures. Sometimes you can even get them with sensors as well, something like the APP RS32EA or the Ego 500. If you're in a small sump, they're less likely to get obstructed and you, know, and you know what level they're going to turn off and on at. So obviously an arm is less likely to get obstructed than your pendant float switch. Um, we'll show you some videos as well of the pumps with automatic float switches and how the different ones operate. This is a manual pump, which means I do need to turn it on at the plug for it to start working. We also do automatic versions of the BPS pump, but they won't pump as low. So in this instance, it's best to have the manual pump I can turn it on, control it, pump the water away. In this instance, we're using a lay flat hose, but you can also use a suction delivery hose, which is reinforced with a coil, which stops it kinking. This has an automatic on level of 50 millimeters. And once the water reaches 25 millimeters, it'll then turn itself off. So hopefully seeing a manual pump in operation and also some automatic pumps in operation has been useful to you. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll be doing more of these informative videos. Um, thanks everyone.